For this video, we'll show an example of using proportional differential pressure control. So first, we'll set up the differential pressure control using the two sensors located on the suction and discharge manifolds. And secondly, we'll set up proportional differential pressure control. So note that the system is set up for a constant pressure control mode, which is the factory default for the Hydro MPC systems. So to begin, we're going to arrow to the right to settings. We're going to arrow to our primary controller and select OK. And we're going to arrow down to primary sensor and select OK. And we're going to arrow down to differential pressure pump. And we'll select the OK button. So now we've changed the system from pressure boosting to differential pressure control. So next we'll change the sensors so that they work for differential pressure. Also, you'll notice that we have an alarm on the system. We'll clear that later on in the video. So then we're going to arrow up to go to the setting of analog input and select OK. So first we're going to change the settings for our analog input 1. It's currently set on outlet pressure. So we'll press the OK button. We'll arrow down to measure the input value. Press the OK button. Then we're going to arrow to differential pressure pump high. Press OK to select that option. Then we'll hit the back arrow. And for the sensors on our system, it's set up using a 4 to 20 milliamp. And our range is a min of 0 and a max of 145 psi. So we need to change it to the settings for our sensor. And you'll want to make sure that you set the range for your sensors according to the sensors that are on your system. So then we'll press the OK button so that we can change our max. Hit the minus button to get down to 145 psi. Hit the OK button to select that. Hit the back arrow one time. Then we'll go down to analog input two. Press OK to select that option. We hit the up arrow to our measured input value. Press OK to select that option. We want to arrow down and we want to change that to differential pressure pump low. We'll press OK to select that. We we'll hit the back arrow one time. And again, we want to make sure that our range is correct for this. So that we're set up using a 4 to 20 milliamp. We want to change our max to 145 psi for the sensor on our system. So we'll press the OK button to change those options. And we'll hit the minus symbol till we get down to 145 psi. Press OK to select that option. So now we set up all the sensors for our system. So next we'll set up for proportional differential pressure control. So hit the back arrow till we get back to the settings. And we'll want to arrow down to proportional pressure. Press OK to select that option. Currently it's disabled. So we want to arrow down to enabled. Press the OK to select that option. We're going to leave our adaptation set at squared. You want to arrow down to the influence at zero flow. Currently, it's at 90%. For our system, we want to set that to 50%. So hit the minus arrow to get down to 50%. Press OK to select that option. And then we want to make sure that the max flow rate at QP max is using the pump curves that are already set up in the system. So we'll press the home button. So now if you notice, currently we have an alarm showing a water shortage. And now instead of showing two sensors, it's just showing the one sensor rated at zero PSI because we haven't started our system yet. So to turn off the stop function, we're going to arrow to the right to settings. We're going to arrow down to secondary functions. Press the OK button. Press the OK on stop function. And then currently it's enabled. So we'll press OK when that's highlighted. And now we've disabled the stop function. So next we'll remove the dry running protection. So if you'd like to set up dry running protection for your system, watch our short video on how to set up dry running protection using the limit exceed functions. 
So we'll arrow back to settings. Then we'll arrow down to monitoring functions. We'll press OK to select monitoring functions. We want to highlight dry running protection and select OK. And currently our system is using the measurement inlet pressure. So we'll arrow down to that option. Press OK. Currently it's showing that it's enabled. So I want to arrow up to disabled and select OK. So now our dry running protection is disabled. So you'll notice now that the alarm went away when we disabled the dry run protection. So the last thing we're going to do is set up the set point for our system. So we'll arrow over to the operation screen. So currently it's set at zero PSI. So hit the OK button, to select that option. Then we'll hit the plus button, go up to 15 PSI for our system. At 15 PSI, we'll select OK. And we'll arrow down to our normal. Hit OK to start the system. Press our home button. Now our system is set up. So if you'll notice now, it says that proportional pressure influence is active on the system. We hope you've enjoyed this short video. Thank you.